And I got to try things that I never tried before. Some I liked, some I didn't like, but you bet the ones that I didn't wasn't sure that I liked, I tried them again, by gosh. They are real, they are waiting, there are so many women. <laughs> you had a good time, that's great. <laughs> Plain and simple. Yeah. Plain and simple. I've been on quite a few dates in my life. I'm not bragging, it's just a fact. Maybe it's a sad fact. But the one date I had down here was better than any date that I'd had. You know, I'm not exaggerating, and it's my opinion. That was yesterday, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, the woman treated you like a man. Uh, I can't describe it. I can't describe it. You know, I mean, I, I can't describe it. It's really true. It's. And what did you do to the date? You just did have dinner? What did you do? We just went uh, to the mall, mm -hmm. and then we went and had some dinner, and I got to try things that I never tried before. Some I liked, some I didn't like, but you bet the ones that I didn't wasn't sure that I liked, I tried them again, by gosh. And... The food down here is incredible. If you're any sort of a foodie, this place is a, if you're a, what do they say, a gastronome or a gastronomic, somebody that loves food, this place is restaurant after restaurant after restaurant. So, what are you doing, guys? Come on down. I mean, I'm looking at you. Good that you say, because really we have so many men who sit in front of the computer, watching the videos, watching the profiles, doubting that it's real that's why we have this the sign there that we are real and looking i'm real and looking for love because the women are real you talk to them and there's so many of them who really want to meet a nice man and they're not looking for a lot they're really looking for a nice man who treats them well oh, how could you be more skeptical about this than me i flew to phoenix So that is one of the main things the guys say, the women are not real, this is not real, and you said you had the same thought, right? Guys, I, I couldn't blame you for being skeptical. Anything that sounds, we all know, anything that sounds too good to be true probably isn't. And I'm a pretty skeptical person. I'm so darn skeptical that I flew from Detroit to Phoenix with the express purpose of seeing if it was a real office. It just sounded like it was... Too good to be true. First, I checked with the Better Business Bureau, and they gave me a good rating. So I knew I had to be on to something pretty good, but I still had to go find it out for myself. I just don't trust the internet enough. I want to see the person. So I get into Phoenix. I get my hotel room. So you actually flew to Phoenix to see the office, okay? It's great, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it's valid. Got in my rental car. Went to the address. There's a nice building there. I went to the front door. There's nothing lifted there. This place has got to be a fake. Proved it right there. This place is a fake. Well, their address has a north in it or a south in it. I said, well, maybe it's at the south end of this. Well, guess what? I drove to the south end. And there ain't no south end, so this place is just a fake, isn't it? Huh? Proved it to myself that this place is just a fake. I kind of suspected it was because it just sounds too good to be true. But, you know, in one of the videos, they talked about the restaurant next door. And there's that damn restaurant right next door and stuff. And I just went back to check it out one more time. I drove back there just about ready to pack it in and say, hey, this is this is a fake. And I'm walking around there, around all the edges of it. Well, I didn't know I had an open, you know, that was the front door. So I went to the front door of the business. And finally, a guy comes out and kind of looks at me and says, can I help you? And I said, well, I'm, I'm looking for AFA, but obviously it's not. And he says, well, I do maintenance for him on his shirt. It says AFA. He says, the door's around the back. And I'm like, oh, my God, you are kidding me. I mean, yeah, you, you just saved around. it. You have to go yeah, around. I had no, so I had convinced myself that this was a fake. <laughs> by gosh, but actually I knocked on the door, and a very nice lady came down and explained things to me and babysat with me a little bit, held my hand through all my fears and talked, you know, any problems or fears that I had. Who was it? She Brianna. Michelle. 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 Ah, Michelle, you talked to Michelle. Yep, Michelle. And I put my money down for a trip. And Here you are. why did I wait 15 years?
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new. Are you interested in meeting the love of your life? Experience the adventure of a lifetime. Interested? Learn more at MexicanLoveMates.com